Good morning boys and girls and welcome back to another video and as you can see I am wrapped up in my lovely comfortable warm hoodie because it is freezing Reason being is, I know autumn is fast approaching, summer's gone, the sun has decided to disappear somewhere and it's getting colder through the day and also the night. My boiler decided to break down on me yesterday so I haven't had heating for the last two days and the house is absolutely freezing. I think I'm actually suffering through frostbite as we speak. So that's probably why my man flu is still here. I had man flu from last Sunday. If you haven't seen that video, I put that video up. The link is in the description below. Myself versus man flu. Check that video out. Go! So I'm making sure I'm keeping myself wrapped up nice and warm so I can get rid of this man flu. But this is another day. It's Saturday. It's just coming up to 11 o'clock in the morning I've had breakfast I've done a few things work-wise and it's now time to get my day started we've got a pretty busy day today it was my sister and brother-in-law's first one-year anniversary yesterday so today we're out celebrating with those tonight for a family meal but first of all we've got to make sure we trained as well we've got shoulder workout or we might be doing back we're not sure what's going on just yet but we're either doing shoulders or back but we're heading down to Metroflex for that workout today but first of all before we get this video going i want to give you a quick update on everything so grab yourself a coffee because i'm going to grab myself a coffee i need warming up let's get going better hope you got your coffee so like I said I'm just gonna give you guys a quick update on everything a lot of you've been asking questions on my training specifically like how do I approach my training so I'm just gonna give you guys an update on that so it can answer your question but first things first I weighed myself this morning which is actually a first <laughs> most of you know I tend to always forget to weigh myself first in the morning. I'm just too manic first thing. I've got other things on my mind and I always end up forgetting to weigh myself and end up weighing myself halfway through the day or at the end of the day, which is not actually practical. So this morning, my weight was 219.6, as you can see. Really happy with that. I've lost a pound since last week. Everything seems to be going on track. We're aiming for a pound to two pounds each week. So all is good. But as regards to my training, Yesterday I'm going to give as an example, I like to always make sure I keep my heavy compound movements in. So what I always do is I always opt for my heavy compound movements on whatever exercise I'm doing first of all. So for example, yesterday we did legs, we focused on the squats. Squats are religious, make sure you always squat, I cannot stress enough. So we did front squats and also make sure you front squat as well. If you really want to engage your fires, your glutes and really get that big ass legs, I always say do front squats as well as back squats. So we started off with front squats and we done five sets of five. We worked up to uh, 140 kg on the front squats and then we moved on to back squats which I worked up to 200 kg. So even so we're in this calorie deficit, I'm still keeping as heavy as I can but the volume's pretty low at the moment with the five sets of five but I like to try and make sure I keep my volume as high as I can as well as lifting heavy weights. So we've done that with heavy compound movements on um, both front and back squats and then I then focus on a lot of hypertrophy exercises just to add in that volume and really get the blood into the muscles, engage the muscles and overall just fatigue them to failure. So um, that's my strategy on my training. So after we've done the front and back squats, we moved on to things like leg extensions. We've done line leg curls, seated leg curls, exercises like that, a bit more isolation as well and just really focus on getting that hypertrophy and get volume in there. So I like to work around um, rep range 12 to up to 20 repetitions. I don't like going if any further than that. Apart from on leg day, I always believe leg day you just need volume, as much volume as you can. So sometimes even on leg day, I can work up to 20 to even 40 repetitions, especially on leg press. I like to lower the weight a bit and then just focus on just pure repetition and get as much blood into the muscle as I can. So 
I can sometimes work all the way up to 40 repetitions, mainly only on legs. So that's pretty much my strategy with everything. So I always start off with my heavy compound movements, and some days as well, I like to focus on maybe more than just the five sets of five. I may work up to maybe eight um, sets in total and then keep my repetitions around about 10 to 12 reps. I don't go too heavy uh, on volume with the big compound movements because obviously they're heavier weights, the big compound movements, you're using more energy. But I just like to make sure I get as heavy as I can on the weight wise. And then that's when I chuck in the hypertrophy afterwards just to really get the volume in there and just completely fatigue out so i kind of explained that twice so i end up doing that a lot so that's pretty much my strategy i hope that answers your question now we can get this day started it's week three of the mini cut everything seems to be going a okay i'm not going to be revealing nothing which is going on underneath this jumper to you guys just yet but we've got some exciting things happening i'm seeing some good progress i will update you guys halfway point so next video uh, next weekend i'll show you guys a little bit of the progress of how things are going how things have changed and then the next main uh, update will be at the end of the cut so i don't want to reveal too much too soon um so that's pretty much it I'm now going to drink the rest of my coffee. I've got a montage ready for you next of my breakfast. So, cue the montage! Yo, so as you saw there, I had my breakfast this morning, which was the egg omelette. had eight egg whites with two whole eggs, my half an avocado. Then I got in my pre-workout after that, which is my standard bowl of oats with two scoops of whey protein for my protein. That's pretty much it. I've got my pre-workout on me now, which I'll sip on my way to Metroflex. We're going to head down there. It'll take me about 20 minutes, half hour to get there. So I'll catch you guys there. Boom, just made it to Metroflex now. It's behind me, just up there. So we're gonna head in in a minute. We've decided we're gonna do shoulders today, keep it nice and simple with a shoulder routine and then hit back tomorrow. So just taking my pre-workout on the way. We used the Vascomax, that's it, no stimulants today. Um, an odd question that I always get asked is, can I make some sort of playlist or can you suggest the music that you listen to? I'm not going to play, obviously, none of them because YouTube has taken our freedom away and we'll get copyright for that. So um, a few of the songs I use, a lot of my workouts, the backtracking of those um, workout videos is a lot of the songs that I listen to, which is it's by Thompson, but he spells it T-H-M-P-S-N. So I like listening to his stuff, but... What I'll do is, during the workout, I'll show you some of the um, playlists of what I listen to, but a lot of it is all mixture. I listen to some hip-hop, some heavy stuff, um, some bodybuilding motivational quotes and things like that, videos. I listen to like a mixture of stuff, depending on how I feel on the day. But um, like I said, I'll just show you some of the clips of the, the playlist that I listen to while doing a shoulder workout. So we're going to get in there now, catch up with a few people, like I say, because I don't really get to come down here a lot. So hopefully we'll be able to catch up with some friends and that that I haven't seen in a while and just have a good time. It's always nice to come down here to spend some time with other people, get in a different atmosphere and get a good workout. So let's get cracking. <laughs> Oh, 
another great workout down at Metroflex. Every time I come down here, it is just unreal. I love it every time I come down. I need to come down here more often, you know. But it was great to be down here. The atmosphere is unreal. If you're on a high on your motivational levels anyway, you know, will always find a way to push it that extra higher. Even if you're on a low, they'll find a way to bring your motivational levels up. So if you are from around this area, check this gym out. I definitely recommend it. Lower Sydney, Metroflex, check it out. The gym is just great. They, they make you feel at home. It's just always a great workout and everything. But we finished shoulders. Shoulders are done. Got a great workout in. Pumped. I'm feeling good, positive, everything. So I'm just going to get my post-workout in now, which is my one banana as always and my one scoop of whey protein for my protein. I've got the cookies and cream in there that is running out so I'm gonna have to put a new order in soon and may test some new flavors so that'll be exciting I'll let you know what those flavors will be in the next video but anyway as always I need to get home because I'm sweating head to toe the car is steaming up it's getting a bit you know saucy in here so I'm gonna drive home get my post workout in and I'll catch you guys when I'm back in the kitchen with my post workout meal see ya up everyone just got out of the shower feeling a lot fresher now and i've got my post-workout meal in front of me and it is looking damn tasty let me show you what i got boom check that out i've just got myself some white rice some veg there with some carrots and some mints and that is my post-workout meal making sure i'm getting a lot of carrots in there because they're high in vitamin c and i just want to help boost my immune system with this man flu at the moment i've got 150 grams of minced beef there. That is actually 10% fat in the minced beef. And I've got 375 grams of white rice. And for you guys that are interested, this is a little secret of mine. Sea salt. I add this to literally every single meal. It's always the same. I do about 10 to 12 twists. So I'll just show you. One, two, three. Obviously you didn't see that, but you heard. It's about 10 to 12 twists, and I put the sea salt on every single my meal. Reason being is I need to hydrate myself, especially after my workouts, because I do sweat a lot. Most of you guys do know that. And also, it's to keep the muscles feeling full. So you want that uh, you know, muscle fullness, Make sure you get some sea salt into your diet. I always stick them in all my meals to keep it consistent. Some people like to stick them in only certain meals if it was my opinion i would say stick them in every single meal and keep it to the same so i say every single meal has always got 10 twists of the sea salt and also especially after my workouts i have my post-workout coconut water as well which has got some added potassium literally just to get some more potassium in me and that's pretty much it like i say so keep your muscles feeling full Keep your body hydrated, especially after that workout. Drink plenty of water and get some sea salt into all your meals. That's pretty much it. I'm going to dig into this now because I'm starving. I'm absolutely hungry. I'm tired, but I've got so much done. I've got to get some emails sorted out. I've also got this editing to do on this YouTube video. And I've literally got to run around and get my sister's anniversary card all in a space of an hour and a half. So I've got a lot of running around to do. So I'm going to cut this here and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Alright, so what's up everyone, and as you can see, I've changed once again into something a little bit more suitable because we're waiting for my sister and brother-in-law to go out and celebrate their one year anniversary. It's their wedding anniversary. It's mad how quick this year's gone. This time last year, we was out in Mauritius celebrating their wedding, kicking back on the beach with some cocktails and whatnot, and just enjoying the sun and life. But anyway, like I said, we're waiting for them to get here and then we're off out to celebrate. Then we're heading down to the restaurant called Zizi's. It's an Italian restaurant, so it's only gonna be so 
serving things like pizza and pasta. So hopefully there'll be something there that I can eat on the menu. If not, I will be taking a meal with me as a backup. Yes, most of you are probably thinking, oh, you're so boring, but my family are very supportive. We are a very supportive family. They all understand that I have to stick to my diets when I have to. When I'm bulking, I wouldn't be uh, this strict, but obviously with this cut, I want to keep as strict as I can. I want to make sure and get the best progress as I can. And I do not want to turn up at the restaurant and the only choices I have is pizzas. If that's my only choice, that's something that I can't actually eat at all. If there are something that's a 50-50 you know, bit of a balance of a healthy balanced meal, then maybe I can go for it. But if it's only just pizza, that I can't really go for. So I'm going to be taking another meal with me just in case. But like I said, my family are very supportive. The main thing is I'm just there enjoying the good times, reminiscing from last year in the vibe, you know, just celebrating, you know, their year anniversary and everything. So the food isn't necessarily important, but my family is supportive and they can understand where I'm coming from and what I've got to do. As long as I'm there celebrating with them, that's all that matters. So like I say, we're just waiting for them now and then we will be on our way. But we have just literally arrived outside CZ's now. Family's all here. I've got this little mongrel of a cousin with me. We're gonna go check out CZ's but I'm gonna get inside now because it's raining and I can't see and I don't want to get the camera wet so see you in a bit. We're just heading home now, We've had a great evening at ZZ's. Family's all just up there. Great night, just a load of laughs, celebrating, having some fun, getting some good food in. I actually wasn't able to eat anything while I was in there. They had uh, this potato stuff in there, but for me, I just cannot digest um, potatoes at all. It's mainly the starch. It just doesn't agree with me. I get bad stomach cramps and that, so I just didn't want to risk it. So I stuck with my meal, which was just sweet potato and chicken. I had 200 grams of chicken breast with... Uh, 200 grams of sweet potato and that was pretty much it and then like I said we're just out there spending some time with the family we're just enjoying ourselves it was a good laugh actually he would recommend ZZ's if you've never been to ZZ's go down there it's great food in there especially their uh, uh, pizzas and that they do this a special pizza I don't know what it's called but like they fold the pizza in half and it is unreal if you ever go to a ZZ's or you know a ZZ's near you Check it out and let me know as well what the name is of that pizza. I know it's a folded pizza. Let me know in the comments what it's called because I forgot and I would like to try that maybe one day on my cheat day. But like I say, it's just coming up to 10 to 10 now. I'm gonna head back home. Um, I've got one more meal to get in, which pretty much should be some eggs. I'll show you that afterwards. And then that's pretty much it. I'm knackered. My shoulders are still pumped from earlier. Um, so I'll catch you guys when we get back home what a long day it's been and i'm absolutely tired i just feel like i've been non-stop talking all day today so i'm going to end this video in here for you guys but before we go i'm just going to get one more meal in for the night and that's my omelet i've got four whole eggs with the six egg whites that's going to be it i'm going to get that in then i'm jumping straight into my bed because last night i only got five hours sleep so i need to catch up on my beauty sleep as you can tell other than that, I hope you did enjoy this video. You know what to do, just like all the other videos. Give it a massive thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Make sure you do, because I do appreciate it so much. If you haven't yet subscribed, you are new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button before you head off anywhere else. Much love for that. And also make sure you follow me on all my social media pages, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. That's pretty much it. Check me out on there, follow me, feel free. And until next time, guys, hope you enjoyed. Stay safe, make it happen. I need ya, I need you right now. Yeah, I need you right now. So don't let me, don't let me, don't let me down. I think I'm losing my mind now. It's in my head, darling. I hope that you'll be here when I need you the most. So don't